Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As you have seen the video title, you already know that we are going to Jeju Do. Yay! Finally, the most awaited trip. We have reached early, so have to wait for a while at the Gimpo Airport. But waiting with a toddler is not an easy task. Time to board. Look at her. She is very excited to board the flight. She is not even willing to hold our hands and walking alone like that. the flight she is busy reading the flight magazines don't know how much she is understanding though <laughs> time to take off look at the fluffy cotton candies I mean the clouds. Reached Jeju. Now look at the sky view of Jeju Island. Beautiful. This is Jeju City. Finally we are here at Jeju Island. Can't believe we are here. So happy. Heading towards our first location. Let's go. The first location is Manjangul Lava Tube. It is one of the UNESCO World Natural Heritage Sites. It is a natural lava tube which formed when the underground lava flowed towards the sea. The total length of Manjangul Lava Tube is about 7.4 kilometers. It is one of the largest lava tubes in the world. This site was first excavated by a teacher and a group of students. This mural shows the students. Due to the sinking of ceiling, there are three entrances. But the only one is open for tourists is the second entrance and are allowed to go as far as one kilometer into it, not more than that. This is the teacher who excavated this site. There is the ticket counter and there she is. She saw a cat and now she is running behind that cat.
Look at the pretty camellia flowers. Now we are entering the Manjangu lava tube. Since I was recording, our guide was kind enough to help our daughter go down the stairs. The temperature is pretty cold inside than the outside temperature. It is somewhere between 7 to 21 degrees. The lava tube is dark inside with very dim light in between so that the natural atmosphere does not get affected. You can see water dripping from the ceiling. And can you imagine this whole place is a huge lava tube? Very interesting. These are lava flow lines, which depicts the level of the flow of lava recorded on the walls. How interesting is that? There are lava stalactites classified into shark tooth, tubula and splash stalactites depending on the shape. Now look at the walls, it looks like a shark teeth. Now look at the width of this tube. I am imagining the amount of lava flowed from here, my goodness. There are lava rafts and so many other lava formations. There are lava shells. Visually, it is spectacular here but don't know how much it is appealing virtually. We have reached 1 km and this is the highest lava column in the world, which is about 7.6 meters high. This is the end of the tourist area. Beyond this, it is restricted. Heading out of the lava tube. The next location is the Wuljiangri Beach. It is well known for its beautiful scenery and the white, fine sand and emerald water. Look at the water color from here. I can see three colors. It is all because of the white sand and the lava formations underneath. The view is really awesome here.
The weather is also perfect, not so cold, not so hot and very windy and breezy. Heading for lunch. For lunch, we have grilled fish, some pork dish, soup and so many other dishes. Just loved it. Now ending today's vlog here. Stay tuned for the upcoming parts. Hope you like this video. Till then, bye bye. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.